What's up guys? We got Jonathan McGinnis here. He is a rising photographer in the senior photography world in Dallas. Um, he does amazing work. I love his stuff. Look for inspiration with him all the time. Um, he's been doing senior photography for a couple of years now um, and he's actually been standing out in his local market using uh, just having a unique style and these actions that he's been using has really helped that. So I'm going to kind of let him jump in and explain how that has helped. Hey Josh. So yeah, I have I have a very distinct style, and I always want to make sure that my work stands out from all the others in the market. So one of the big re the big ways that I achieve my style is through uh, post production. And so whenever I would go and do a shoot, I would you know select my images to do my amazing edits on. Um, and I would put it into Photoshop, but I would have to manually do everything to get the exact look that I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I would have to go in, you know, individually find, you know, if I'm using a plugin for retouching, or I would have to individually retouch everything, um, make those layers so much, even just on retouching. And then I would start with my color, um, my creative color adjustments, and I would have to either go into the curves adjustment manually play with each you know channel of the colors to get the exact look that I want um, and then or I would use another action um, which I haven't really found a good action set um, so I would find an action that I already have and I would play it not be satisfied with it have to change it up so much that it's just it wasn't worth really calling it an action because it didn't save any time at all right Right. And after I made those creative adjustments, then I would move on to a texture, uh, put a texture overlay on my image, but then I would have to go into bridge, import it, resize it, change overlay, you know, there's so much stuff to do there. So by the time I was done doing a single edit, it ended up taking about 15 minutes per image yeah. um, just to get it to the exact style that I want. And the one thing I love about this editing collection is that it basically takes away all the heavy work for me. Uh, so I can import an image into Photoshop, literally be done with it in exactly where I want to in like a minute and a half or most times less. Um, so I found it to be an incredible tool and I've never seen a collection as amazing and as powerful uh, as a whole, um, as this editing collection. So I know I will be using it all the time. Um, so I have a couple images that I can show you. Awesome, yeah. If you want. Yeah, so definitely. Here, let me go ahead and share my screen. Is it showing up? Uh, one second. There it is. Awesome. So this is a senior that I shot. Um, and so... I went out, we went to downtown Dallas, we did our big shoot, and so I was really satisfied with the images there, but now it's time to step it, you know, one one part further. Mm -hmm. So now it's time to come to edit the images and make it a piece of art. So um, now, beforehand, you know, I would have to go find the plugins, create individual layers, and now with the retouch, uh, set that's included in the entire collection, um, I can just click one action and it does many different things for me and creates many different layers if I want. So if I want to smoothen her skin, all I have to do is, you know, make a brush over her skin and bam, her skin is smooth, you know, maybe apply some to the hands, you know, whatever skin is showing, and then you know, if this was a picture where her teeth were showing, I could go in, zoom in, whiten up the teeth just by brushing it on because all the other adjustments are made for me. Uh, and then dodge and burn for you know, brightening eyes, doing whatever you want with that. And so instantly that's just one click and all that work is done. That's yeah. probably saved me eight minutes right <laughs> with, uh, with one click. That's awesome. And so now... Uh, we can go on to the color collection, which um, I'm going to pick a red yellow. I'm a really big fan of that one. And to me, you know, these are a little overpowering. Um, so I'm going to drop that down 
And, you know, it all depends on your style. You can drop it down to whatever you like. Um, and that's what I love about these actions is, you know, it works in many different ways. Um, so that right there just probably saved me another three, four minutes. Mm -hmm. Making all those layers. Um, also, you know, if I want, I can go into individual layers, you know, play around if I want a different look. And I can get many different looks just from one action, just by clicking, you know, one different mm -hmm. button, and I get a completely awesome different look. So, right there, that's probably saved me about 12 minutes. And then the texture, uh, I can also just go in, click one button, and it does it all for me. And one thing I love about these actions is that it automatically rotates the texture for you. It automatically sizes each texture to fit your image. So, you know, you can use this on an image, you know, if you're shooting with two different cameras, you can use, you know, your, um, you know, D90 or if you're a Canon user, like a D60 or something, um, and use it on your Canon 5D Mark II or Mark III images, or like for me, a D800. Um, and the texture always fills your frame. You don't have to worry about how big your starting image is. It automatically does that for you. Uh, and then once I play this action, all I have to do is brush it off her face, um, off her body, any parts that I don't like on the image. And if I wanted to, I could adjust it, but I kind of like it where it is there. And so just before and after, that probably would take about a minute, you know, if I wasn't talking. Yeah. I, that would have been a minute right there. Right. And so I don't have to worry about, you know, spending 15, uh, 15 minutes on an image. Because, you know, 15 minutes, it may not seem long at the time, mm -hmm. the moment, because, you know, you might have, you know, be like, oh, this is so cool, playing around with all this stuff. But then after an hour, you're only done with four images. Yeah. Uh, and that's why there's such a bad reputation for editing because it just takes so long. It does. So uh, with these actions, it basically takes the stress out of editing and makes it completely um, fast, completely amazing, and I get the exact look that I'm looking for. That's awesome. Here, you want to move on? Next image? Yeah. Uh, so I have a couple of other images from the shoot. And this time, I'm just going to go ahead. Um, I'm not going to pause to talk. I'm just going to show you guys how easy and how fast it is just it is to retouch one image right off the bat. And if you're wondering, these are already color corrected in Lightroom uh, right. using the color correction pack that also comes with the collection. Uh, so. Let's use orange yellow. That's another incredibly great preset. Dial that down just a little bit. And then we can pick a texture. I love it because I can pick any texture and know that I'm going to like the results. Because <laughs> they all work so greatly. And then all I have to do is brush that off of her off of her clothing and then bam I have a finished image done that's awesome that took a minute that's whole, awesome uh, so when you get onto other images all you have to do is you know pick an action and just start working with it right do does you want so t talk to me about the uh, like the naming scheme that we kind of came up with does that help when you're actually looking at an image and going okay what should I use yeah, uh, absolutely. So whenever I look at an image, like I can be like, okay, you know, this would benefit from a cool tone or a warm tone. And so beforehand, I would, you know, have all these actions if I was going to edit with an action. And it would be, you know, uh, you know, I don't want to give out any names, but it would be like, um, you know, French pastry. Or something and I'm like how am I supposed to know what a French pastry's color is you know it could be you know many different colors um, or you know you know lollipop 
or something. You know, that could be many different colors. And so I absolutely love how all of these actions, you know, it's no fluff. It's just, you know, you know exactly what you're getting. You know, blue contrast, obviously, that's going to add blue and add contrast. Uh, orange, yellow, it's going to add orange and yellow. Uh, so it's incredibly easy to know what you're getting right out of an image right when you click that action button. Yeah. And it takes all the guessing out of it. Uh, even though, you know, usually beforehand, it would take me months of using the, t you know, the actions to remember what it does. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been using, you know, a weekend to using these. I'm, I know exactly what everything does. Mm -hmm. So it's just absolutely incredible. Um, even though it's a simple naming scheme, it's exactly what I'm looking for. And even the same thing with the check with the textures is you know the the images describe what the texture is of. And so I can associate the image and be like, oh yeah, that's you know a chipped wall or um, you know gold galaxy and looks like you know, <laughs> any different stars and whatnot yeah it's gold and so i know exactly what i'm getting before i even click that button so it just makes it incredibly much easier that's awesome here i'm gonna let you finish up this last image i want to see how fast you can do it yeah okay it's a killer image by the way yeah and you know obviously you know, a bunch of the work is done when you're shooting, but then this just enhances it and just makes it so much more awesome. And you don't have to worry about, you know, all the time spent in editing. You have it right away. And so, bam, right there, it's done. That's awesome. Here, show me the before and after real quick. Yeah. And so this is the before, you know, straight out of camera, um, color corrected with the Lightroom set. And then the artistic adjustments that took like what? That was like twenty five seconds. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. I hope you love these. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Um, I'm glad you're using them to great success. And thanks so much. No problem. All right, man. See ya. See ya.